For Pat Buckley, he's won literally everything there is to win as a Greyhound trainer. From an English derby to Scottish derbies to an Irish Greyhound derby, Buckley has literally won the lot. So we've come to his Kappa White Kennels in County Tipperary to get the latest news on his derby dream team, which is headed by Ballinabula Ed. Right, well, we're looking forward to the, the Boyle Sports Irish Derby and we're with the team captain of the Buckley team, Ballinabola Ed. Pat, what a year this lad has had so far. Yeah, Rob, he's been... Yeah, last year was a bit disappointing because he got things wrong on the wrong night. Mm. But uh, this year has been... He went out and he won the... I think he won 8 or 9 in the, in the bounce there. So, yeah, he won the Ladbrokes and he won the National Star, the Race Champions. Champions. And then he was very unlucky the other night in the International. So, yeah, he's, he's doing things right. Yeah. What's the difference with him this year to last year, in your opinion? More consistency, Rob. Uh, last year, when he was, like, behind, he was, you know... When he's dropping back behind, he wasn't able to come behind. Whereas this year now, he's more he's matured. Like he did an awful lot of running in the international. Obviously disappointed he got beat, mm. but I was delighted with him, the way he stuck to his guns and tried to win the race. You know, so he's very genuine. Yeah, the night of the Shelburne Six Hundred, the, the final, that was I suppose at that stage his most impressive performance because he could have thrown it away and he didn't. No, no, he he, he yeah, absolutely. When the traps opened, I said, oh my god, not again, and. Uh, he, he knuckled down to the task and he got the job done. You know, he's, he's, he's very good. Yeah. And the race of champions again, he just showed his class through and through. Yeah, if you could get him, I think if he's racing, I think the fourth one he'll go in the Derby this year will probably be, it'll be better for him because yeah. he's, he likes racing all the time. And when you take him away, he misses the break. But he's racing constantly. His trapping seems to get better as the competition goes on this year. So I'd be expecting he'll get better through the, through the Derby as long as he stays qualified. Yeah. And you say missing the break. Even when he's missing the break, he's shown savage early. Yeah. That's why I was afraid of him doing the other night because it wouldn't be a track that suited dog to miss the break because he needs... Shelburne will suit him because if he misses the break, he's able to put himself back into position over on the first and second bin to command a qualifying spot. But, uh, yeah, he needs that long run down. Hmm. You've done a lot of planning with this lad. You, you plan. You made a plan at the start of the year and, and touch what everything has gone to plan in terms of you've gone to, to where you've said... It's all about the derby, though, isn't it? Uh, everything was aimed at this, Rob. Uh, every, everything was aimed at the derby. Everything. Everything's been aimed. Oh, since last year, since he won the United Stars, that was it. He was put away for the derby. Mm. That's that's the plan. And we're a week away from it now, so hopefully things go right for us. And are you happy with him? Oh, delighted with mm. him. Yeah, he's in good old shape, so... Let him off now, then. You can have a look at him. Come on. Come on, Ed. Come on. OK, well, we're continuing our assessment of the Pat Buckley Derby team. And, Pat, you've got a... I don't know if she's a, a number two. She'd be a number one in a lot of kennels, but bobsleigh dream, dual classic winner, a dream to train. Yeah, she's a... She, she wouldn't say she's a dream to train now, but she's, <laughs> she's tough going. But, um, yeah. yeah, she's a great bitch. Mm. From an early stage, did you always think she was going to be the real deal? Yeah, I thought when we took her to the toast to the Derby last year that um, Ken Hughes was asking me what did I fancy, and I fancied her. No, she went out in the second tour, but she was doing fierce work at home mm. for us. I, I, you know, I knew she was very talented. So, um, yeah, she's, she's very good. She's a tough lady. Yeah. Now she's a dual classic winner, but even before that, we were down in Tralee last year for the juvenile classic final, and that was the night she she done the clock for the five seventy. Yeah, she's she's very quick. We 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 always knew she was good mm. at the start. She, she started off. She progressed slowly, but when she got, she kept coming on slowly and slowly and slowly. But when she got there, she was. A monster, yeah, she's very good. Yeah, is her best performance to date in in the le the ledger final last year? Yeah, probably. Listen, she was that was she wasn't going to leave that behind her. Um, <laughs> she did an awful lot of run to win that, and uh, deserved she deserved to win it the way she ran. Mm. Um, but that's what she is. She'll stay five fifty, five seven, five six hundred, seven hundred. I say if you put her over, but uh, she'll be hard to keep out if she, things go right for her. Yeah, and we saw in Mullingar when she won the the RPG TV Cesar, which you know. It was pretty much all over from the get-go. Yeah, she has them ping breaks in her not time. She can just fly off the lids. And uh, if she does that, if she led like you wouldn't catch her, I wouldn't care why be, you wouldn't catch her. Yeah. Now, she goes into the derby, I suppose, on the back of a very unlucky run at Dundalk. A lot of people were saying Ed was unlucky, but she was probably as unlucky. She was equally as unlucky. You know, it, it just, it's a pity the way the race of the first spin, like one yeah. dog just went across. And that was that's just racing. And uh, a couple of the real good dogs didn't get a run, didn't show what they, what they could have showed. But, yeah. like, she came off good and... 
that's racing. Yeah. Now we know bitches can, can win the, the derby as we saw a couple of years ago. Is she capable of going a long way? Uh, she'd be as good as any bitch. Like she'd be as good as any of them good bitches. Mm. Like she has it on the clock. She would do. I would say she'd break probably twenty eight seconds there for a trial this minute. You know. Mm. So um, of course she can win a derby if she's lucky enough to get there. Well, it's a, a very strong derby team for Pat Buckley and Pat. We're with Ben's Teddy, and this is a dog with savage pace. Yeah, he has, Rob. Yeah, he's been a bit unlucky not to have won a big one so far, but um, he's a very pacey dog. He, you know, he'll stay 525, 550, 575. He goes six. He'll stay, stay, stay. He might be short a yard of early for a top class, but he's, uh, if he keeps, he'll be the hard dog to keep out of the qualifying positions. Yeah, from day one, he's been taking on top dogs. Trinity Junior, Clone of Duke. He's been mixing with the best from day one pretty yeah, much. Yeah, and he's, he's never, he's never, um, he's never ran a greater race in his life. He's right. always been, it's always been top class ones. Mm. He's never in great company. Yeah, he was eliminated in the semi-finals of the Kirby. I got the impression you thought he could go the whole way in the yeah, Kirby. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we actually thought he would be able to. It's very thought the same with Pepe Dior, and he's come on and won mm. a good few since. But yeah, he's very talented. Just need to be. Look, he might be short of this tiny bit of early to the corner, but if you know, he, if he kept qualifying away and got to the final, he'd be dangerous to anything. Yeah. Since then, he's running the produce. He's running the champion five fifty. You know, it's a good stepping stone to, to maybe a derby. Yeah, well, he ran the first round of the project stakes and he got a little setback, so I didn't run him in the second round. He qualified the first time, but uh, he got a little setback and he's been lying idle since, just galloping him now for getting him ready. But uh, yeah, and he was he was uh, he ran well in the champion puppy. The belly him and dog beat him on the night, but he, he you know another straight or two he'd have probably won it. But that's racing. Yeah, his best days no doubt are ahead of him though. We hope so. Yeah. We, we think the world of him, so we hope we hope he can notch a big one off somewhere. OK, let's talk about what else you might run. You mentioned Papadora goes there after winning the Tipperary Cup. Yeah, he'll definitely go. He's got brilliant early pace. Um, I think the 550 will suit him down to the ground. I haven't run him over the 550 there, but I don't think it'll bother him. Yeah. The gender pan or the gender pen, he's 6 from 10. Yeah, he's a young dog. Um, we bred him here ourselves. He's 9 or 10, ran and 6 one. He's gone double EO now, so... He's, he's a puppy derby dog, but I'll run him in there just to make a man of him. Mm. And our mystery, of course, a produce stakes finalist. Yeah, good, honest dog. Uh, does his best. Would be good dog, keep qualifying away. Mm. And you have also said that Glengar Martha might, might take his chance. Yeah, true frustration not being able to get race. I might just run her in it again, just give toughen her up and uh, see how she goes. It's a small but select team. We've mentioned Balnabu Leds, the captain. What else are you expecting big runs from? Um, I'd expect Ben Teddy to come on a bundle. I think I think uh, Bobsled Dream will be. She loves children. Mm. She'll run a big race any night she goes there. Uh, Pepe Joe could be anything. We don't know much about, much about him yet, but I think this fella here will be. This dog will improve a lot. Yeah, but you certainly wouldn't be swapping Balnebo Lead. No, I wouldn't swap Balnebo Lead for anything.